Hello guys, uh, this is Kevin and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make your desktop look like macOS Big Sur. Okay, I just had to uh, fix something. I just had to delete some previous videos so when I stop the video, yep, there won't be any problems. So, uh, wait a sec. Okay, so, first step is to go to your web browser and click the link that I leave in the description. You guys can continue updating me in the comments to tell me if the link doesn't work and I'll just keep on re-uploading it. Um, but this is what you're gonna download. Yes, the file size is big, but uh, that's fine. So it depends on your internet speeds and as you can see, it's downloading. It'll only take 60 more seconds, so there's no point in pausing the video. Um, yeah, and also, guys, tell me if you guys want a um, tutorial on how to reverse this because sometimes people mess up when they try to, and it will end out. It will always ends up ending up badly. Um, so yeah. Okay, so once we've got this file, we're gonna drag and drop this there. Okay, now we're back. Um, so make sure that you have WinRAR or file zip um, file or seven zip. Sorry. Um, this will help you unpack all the files inside. So there's going to be this folder. You can just drag and drop that onto your desktop. Uh, you can keep this there just in case anything happens. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to follow these in the order that I've put them. So first thing that we're going to get is secure UX theme. This lets us install custom themes onto our computer slash laptop. So we're going to open this up. Um, it says zero one. one. Yeah, just press yes. Press I agree and then press install. As you can see, it's just successfully installed. Please reboot. Um, so, I will be doing just that. So, I'll see you guys after I restart the computer. Okay, guys, so I just finished rebooting my computer, uh, laptop, sorry. And the next thing that we're going to do is open up the folder again and we have this. The Big Sur Windows 10 Suite by Nivu. So now we're just going to open that and we're just going to drag and drop it into that folder. Um, a little tip I'll have is to not delete this um, folder because we'll be hiding the icons and it might come useful, especially when I do the um, how to uninstall tutorial um, tomorrow. Um, so let's open this and um, we're going to right click on this PC and press open it in new window and then from there we're going to double click there um, and we're going to double click on users and then we're going to click wait no sorry windows and then we're going to go to resources after resources themes and then we're going to open up um, well themes thin taskbar and we're going to drag and drop that in to here. Now you can just press continue and that will add everything in there. Now that we've dragged and dropped that in, we're going to go back out here. Um, oh, come on. Uh, well, I'm saying this now. You guys can quickly uninstall Secure UX. Um, but a good thing, well, since Secure UX is already installed and there's been no problems, um, that's fine, but this is something I'm going to tell you right now type in restore point create a restore point and then press create and then type it in um, before big Big so Press create and I'll say creating a restore point just uh, give it some time And create a restore point of your registry all your files and all your settings um, so we can press close and we can press OK. Now that we've got all that done, sorry, I should have done that earlier. I know, my bad. But since we only just installed UX theme, I guess it's still fine. So we're going to click on it again and we're not going to install it. We're going to click Start Theme Tool. And if we click this drop down, as you can see, there's all this, right? Uh, we're going to select the one that we like. I'm gonna select Big Sur Day because that's my favorite one out of all of them. So just gonna click patch and apply. Um, it's probably gonna show black on your screen but um, as you can see 
uh, all these icons have been changed. Let me just exit out of OBS. Um, like that. See, press apply. You know, we already have. Um, so it's all been patched. Now we can press close. Okay, next step. It's going to be changing this. So you're just going to set this image as your background. And we've got the big uh, background. Um, this is going to be. Uh, okay like make sure that th this is at near the point where you have to make sure that you already have um um 70 s uh, you already have made a um restore point because it's at these this moment that you might want to go back to previous points let's just say that it crashes so we're gonna press yes so we're just gonna change that to exe as you guys just saw um, and we're also um, going to um, open this, so we're going to press open. And as you can see, the 70SP Mac back light mode and dark mode. I'm going to pick light mode because I like it better. And so we're just going to exit and see that remove. I'm going to rename, and then we're going to change it to remove. Um, and also, a quick tip that you can do um, is going to be clicking on view, and then um, clicking on. Uh, well, full screening it, sorry, pressing view and select file name extensions and hidden items because they're going to help. Okay, so now that we're, oh, now that we've unboxed or well, unzipped these things, don't unzip this if you have 7zip or Winra. So we're just going to open 70SP. It's going to bring up a black screen on yours. It's just an admin prompt. And, uh, oh, oh, oh just had to make sure that I was still recording um, so we're gonna go back here as you can see it says this I've already tried this 70 SP Windows it was to revert back to the Windows theme um, as I said I'll teach you guys how to do this later how to get the Windows themes but we're gonna press add a custom pack and we're going to navigate to our desktop the Mac OS folder that I made and then we can click 70SP Mac Pack Light Mode 7Z. And we're going to click open. And then we're going to wait. And as you can see, that shows up. Um, uh, we're going to click settings. We already made a restore point. Um, you guys can make another restore point. So we'll just. You know, we always need the security of the restore point. So I'm going to create another one. Um, no. Two. Just press create. We always need the restore point. If anything happens, we will need this. Um, so press close and then press OK and then press save. Make sure that's unchecked. Create new restore point when patching. Press save and we're going to. Well, I'm going to be pausing the video, but you want to click start patching. It's going to take some while. Uh, it's going to take a while depending on your PC. Um, mine has an i5 integrated graphics so I um it usually takes like five ten minutes but I'll see you guys once when this is done. Okay guys so uh this just finished the I contact thing so yeah as you can see there's been no changes. Uh if we click on 70 SP it'll say um I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay I can see it now. It says please reboot Windows S S seven EN for the changes to take full effect and you can press reboot so I'm just gonna stop this recording and press the reboot button okay so now that we have finished you'll see this is the system has been patched we're just gonna click OK so that's after the reboot now as you can see these icons have changed that's changed oh, let's empty the recycle bin yeah and as you can see that's clear if we open this up it's gonna look so I mean look at those icons looks so good but you know, besides the point um that's that done um and the those are the hard parts done basically um and the next step that we are going to do is the rain meter so rain meter basically just um makes it like the widgets on the side and everywhere i guess so we're just going to open rain meter 4.3.1 we're going to press ok standard installation um launch rain meter on startup i would recommend that because i'm going to fully transform my computer um 
well you can click run rain meter and as you can see sorry about that loud noise but as you can see there's these weird um things around so we're gonna right click on them and press unload skin onto all of them so we're just gonna click on unload um because we won't be using illustrious skins so we're going to be opening up this again and we will be opening this now we're going to um uh well make a new folder for it here so just click that button and call it big so rain meter i guess um and as i said keep this folder you do not want to remove it just in case we need to do some backwards um uninstallation um so we're just gonna click on big um press apply well yeah make sure that all of this is checked press install so this is rain meter make sure there's still booted or on and so it depends on the version of icons you um chose i chose light mode so we're just gonna tick that and as you can see it's light apply theme the background is changed and you've got all these widgets so i'll be customizing these and also showing you um what my settings are so uh first let's set this back to the original big saw background if you don't want it to then you can just keep it as that but i like this much better um so what i'll do is i'll close all these apps and only have the necessities so we're going to click um, on add and then widgets or just shortcuts and I'll be adding Chrome um, let's see here um, word if I can find it um, I won't be using any of these uh, no discord um, honestly um, maybe settings well I've already added word and Chrome so it was settings and um uh we could also add visual studio code because i like visual studio code very nice so exit and what we're going to do is we're just going to drag them over here to this group of apps and then um i also don't want um i want i don't want this and um i also want this to um, be the alternative and to change this we're going to press settings um, and my player I use Spotify so we're going to apply this instead and well um, I will be replacing the clock because we've already got a clock here um, we're going to be clicking there and I'm going to be adding my battery widget because it's very good to keep track of your battery so shortcuts you know widgets and the battery widget is on 100% which is very nice um, and also I like to drag these to the corner of the screen so there you go um, when, um, and also something that I'm going to do just right now is we're gonna unlock the taskbar drag that to the top and now we're going to lock the taskbar and as you can see we're going to have to adjust this a bit more um, but it's as long as you did that step right then and it should be fine so just snap that all of these lock into place so it's very nice um we can also move that there move that there too for some reason i can't change the calendar but as you can see we've got that um well, I know. yeah that's, that's fine. i guess we can move it on to the left a bit i guess um but Okay, just um, sorry if this part's taking a bit too long. Just want to customize it and show how I would have done it. Um, just in case anyone who wants to do it, how I would have done it. Um, but as you can see, that's all that. Um, and so the next step will be opening this. Um, okay. Um, so next thing that we will be doing is the Nexus. So we're going to click on open and we'll be dragging and dropping this into the folder um, and we'll be double clicking this. Um, uh, I'll be telling something now, um, we'll be using a crack of not this program but Stardust Black 
the start is back plus plus um you guys don't have to do it um but i just don't like the 30 day trial warning that i get every single time so we're just gonna click next next and in install um and three two one registering files we're gonna launch nexus and we won't be making any major changes um it looks ugly I know so instead we're just gonna right click and then we're gonna do screen position and we're going to do bottom screen edge we'll be changing this to the Mac OS dock um, after we're done with old is new and start is back so we're gonna create another folder called old is new. so what this does is it changes the Explorer to look like the older um, old um, Explorer and I guess that makes it look closer to Big Sur um, So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna open this and We're going to pick uh, we're gonna uncheck these two and we're gonna select these only these um, So just make sure to remember that don't change anything Okay Apart from these okay, so we're gonna press install and you could see a black screen it's just an admin prompt and we're gonna click on yes um now we can wait and wait no it's showing another one yes it can now been installed we can press close and as you can see it's sort of changed um if we click on well if we exit the folder app we go back into it it should be different um i guess it's after the a reboot time guessing but restart um, and make sure that all these programs boot on startup that you have now the next one that we have is start is back so we can just drag that into that and I'll be running you through how to crack it through too so we're just gonna open this folder running this um, install for me okay um, making sure that's viewable on the OBS um, so making sure that it's only for me okay so clicking that it's gonna do some weird things and as you can see they're much thicker we're gonna press close and we're going to open this folder well first we're gonna hold windows and press r this will open this and as you can see this is the oldest start if you guys know windows xp that's what it looks like um we're gonna type in app data just by itself without the percentage percentage and um, we're gonna click local and type in s and that should see you should see status back and as you can see all that's there so if we open this folder it'll be msimg32.dll um you guys can whitelist this if only if your um antivirus blocks it but mine isn't so i'm guessing that yours won't too now if we exit this and open um well if we right click and press properties to the taskbar as you can see we've got this and if we press about your license is activated this is very great and now we can click on start menu and we're going to click on appearance and we will be adding a new one so um if we go to desktop and then big saw and then big saw windows 10 suite start orbs we're going to pick the version that we need mine's apple light because i'm not using dark mode and then we're going to click here and we're going to press apply next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do custom use custom task by coloring coloring and then press that to clear um i'll be putting mine at 30 percent but you guys can adjust yours well i'm going to actually be 25 works for me um and yeah that's about all you need to do there and then we're going to press ok um, um and now we're going to click on taskbar settings um and we're gonna click automatically well no we're gonna click on um use small taskbar buttons and that should shrink that down leading to more space on the desktop um and i guess now it's time to fix that ugly dock so we're gonna right click on this dock and we're gonna press um preferences advanced restore and we're going to navigate this to our desk desktop open this folder and see this we're going to click open and we're going to click themes 
and then we're gonna click themes here and if we scroll down wait a second is it broken okay just um oh I got what it is so um sorry about this I sort of missed a step in this tutorial um we're gonna open Google I'm gonna quickly switch to my main account yes yeah, so it's gonna be cringy but we're going to search Clayton Clayton PR Nexus Doc. I'll be actually including this in the download. I just forgot to install it. So you can press download and we're going to click here. Well and we'll be opening this and then we'll be dragging and well we'll only need um this well, this um because this is already set up most of it. So if we click on Preferences and we click on open folder we can click here and then we can click on backgrounds and here what we're going to do is we're going to open our preferred extraction app of core um of per, well yeah preferred extraction app um and we're going to open well if i could just find it um i'm gonna open what we just downloaded sorry about this i'm stuffing up so bad Okay, um, well now we can open the other folder, Windows Explorer, here it is, um, well, sorry about this, I'm so bad, um, uh, all the other, okay, here, there you go, and we're just going to drag and drop macOS dog for Nexus, not into that, that actually into the backgrounds folder and um, I'll be including this into the actual thing so now if we click on effects and then themes again themes and then we can click my color stock next stock and then clicking on color settings no colorization do color will colorize with dominant color of desktop background press ok and then we're gonna press apply and yep so what we can do is we can move from dock move and remove and what are these okay so now what we can do we can exit this one and also this one i'll be updating the mega link i'll be changing the file inside it sorry about the confusion but um next thing that we need to do is click here and we're also going to be clicking uh, we'll be dragging across we don't need Chrome because we already have it on our thing file explorer link that in there um wait no link that in the middle tab um and well we'll just be linking everything that we want so minecraft sure minecraft java and bedrock um uh, i know citra well, no, I've already linked Citra, so Word, um, maybe, nah, I don't use it, Brave, um, I'll use, uh, no, no, Chrome, Microsoft Edge, maybe, and what else, um, well, yeah, that's about it, so, oh, well, we can also put our recycle bin, um, over here, and as you can see, if we right-click here, press View, and press this, this is what we get so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and comment there was a little muddle up um but as i said um i'll add this so um let me quickly run over that for you just in case you didn't make sense so there'll be um so once you've um, enabled those settings you're gonna um open um click on my downloads well you'll be opening this and then opening that and then clicking mac os doc and dragging that into this folder um asa c users public public documents winstep nexus and backgrounds so in this folder you'll be dragging drop dragging and dropping mac os doc for nexus doc and then you're going to be applying that as the background only after you've um, applied the settings but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe
again i'm saying this for the second time but yeah like if this like if you liked it dislike if you didn't and um subscribe if you want to join the channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye